Hello my friends and welcome to episode 5 of our Football Manager 2020 Let's Play. Brain full rose for a second there. We've got an interesting team. We've gone with the 4 2 3 1 again simply because I actually think from the St Johnston game, which I'll go into in a second, it's a much better tactic. Bounce St Johnston were not maybe necessarily the team to test that against. But I think I'm getting a bit more balanced. We've sorted out some stuff. So the team today we've got McGregor, Tavernier, Golden, Halander, Barisic, Jedinak. Jack, Ojo, Davis, Kent and Morelos. I was going to cancel Ojo's loan, but unfortunately the window in England closed before I'd made that decision, and now I can't until January. Um, and I've actually need on the mass, and it probably is, uh, you know, not as much as what I thought it was. I think it's maybe about two million rather than six. Either way, in the previous game, he scored the goal that got us the win, where he beats at Johnston one the best performance in the world, but it certainly wasn't the worst. And a 1 0 win against the Johnston. Oh, that is poor from Tav. Absolutely shocking. It just took a moment to reconnect there, but. Uh. Wow. Got thrown at the right end this time. Hopefully we can make something better happen on our side. Davis playing that uh, central attacking fielder role. And it goes Morelos. That's an away goal as well. That means they've got to score two now. Morelos with a big, big goal there. Jedinak with the cross. And Morelos tucking home. Davis with a clever pass. Jedinak just picking up lots of free space there. Then perfect cross to Morelos actually, and a very good header from the big Colombian, who has interest still from a couple of teams. Golson also getting interest from Liverpool and Spurs, which I find surprising, but maybe he's just rated very very good this year. I do not know. Um, Tavernier's rating not really taking too much of a beating with that back pass. Uh, still sitting at a six point four, which I find very surprising because that was an absolute shocking pass uh, in his own defensive third. Golton brings it out and does find our captain, Tavernier. Ojo whips that forward. Morelos can't get on the end of it. And now we've got to do some defending. Which, for whatever reason, we don't think we'd be very good at this year. And it's over the top. Barisic pulled out of position. And Justin, a good save from Alan McGregor, puts it wide for a corner. Which is now set up correctly to be the correct defensive tactic for us. Hopefully it, it will not show uh, any major issues. Hollander clears. Kent on the chase, can he get there first? He can, he's got Morelos ahead of him but he's not going to launch it forward. Morelos could have been very much away there should he have done that. Going to go with a get creative, see if we can uh, you know, push forward a little bit more. They've got thrown in their own defensive third. Maybe we can see the same mistake that Tavernier made. Ojo, ah, Morelos just not on his toes there. The same way the Utrecht lad was for their goal. Guara is launched over the top again. Kirk and McGregor again with another big, big save. In the one on one situation, he's so good at them. Although I'm seeing reports on Facebook that one on ones are not really striker friendly just now. He's cleared away. Can Ojo get there first? We'll never find out. Got a few inspired by that feedback. And it's uh, another highlight Jack. Born a Badisic. Back to Jack. Badisic with a bit of space. He's going to go back to Hollander here. He really has to, or at least into Jack. He does go for Jack. He's squared across the pitch. Good uh, cross field ball to Ojo. Again, poor, poor play. And Hollander, you know, defending just does not seem very good on this game. And they've scored from that. You know, the amount of times that I see a long ball and our defender just switching off. You know, if you look at this ball, Hollander should be in charge of this situation. But instead he just ignores it almost and Kirk goes in. We're still ahead though, but that's just, just poor play and poor decision making. And again, Ojo losing out here. A Bias, a Bass rather. Don't know where I put, put the eye there. Maher, over the top, and again, defenders sleep in and Kirk's in. Golton does get that away. Jedinak will bring this out now. Um, I think what we need to do is just go a bit more cautious and stop playing out of defence for more direct passing. I 
see if this works. Mahar. Hunga. Mahar across to Elias. Guara. Cross. Barisic has to be winning that header. Thankfully it's gone over. Again, poor defending from us. And I'm really not sure what to do about this defending because, you know, I'm seeing it every single game now, regardless with over two tactics now, where defenders are just switching off to these long balls. And completely ignoring them, if you like. I'm going to go with an assertive far from please, see if we can foul them up. We do indeed. Barisic is complacent. We're losing the game, you know, mate. Come on. Absolute shambles of a performance defensively from our team. We're going to make our first sub. It's going to be a reboot for Davis, who still isn't match fit. You know, he's had one game, 90 minutes in the reserves. As they've had a... Oh, it's a good save from McGregor. <clears throat> he's keeping us in this game, you know, Alan McGregor. Now, he's done this for a lot of the away games. Cleared away Ojo there first. He's got Morelos ahead of him, and he's going to play it. Morelos in one-on-one, -on -one and another one-on-one -on -one missed. So maybe the uh, reports on Facebook about one-on-one has -on -one not been strong enough in terms of the striker are correct. I mean, I've got to guess on that. Jack. With the second bite of the cherry, finds Jedinak. Oh, it's just wide from the former Aston Villa man. We're going to have to make another sub soon, and I'm going to bring off Tav, because it's just not a good game. And Tavenier will come on. Uh, Hutton will come on for the captain. And it's played forward, and Goldson this time does respond to the danger. Back to Alan McGregor, who launches clear. Finds Shea Ojo. Not been impressed with him this game so far, but we'll keep going with him. Just now, Arribo into Miles Jedinak. Tries to play through the channel to Morelos, but it's headed away. Their defence nowhere near switched off his R's with these balls. Whipped across onto the right-hand side, and they've got all sorts of space. Whipped in, it's over the bar. They're just finding so much space defensively, and I don't really know what I can do about it, because something just isn't working right. Uh, we're going to bring on Brandon Barker for Ojo, see if that makes a difference. Because I feel like we could get a bit more joy down that right-hand side. Hollander, back to McGregor. He's going to launch forward. It's going to be straight to them though, isn't it? Yep. And they are so much more switched on defensively than us. And again, I've got to call for an offside here. No offside, ref. going to make some changes now because this is unbelievable we're never going to know if this was onside or not because but if you look you know it's about five yards behind the defense so if that is not offside again you've got to be questioning our defense McGregor can't do anything about that one and we're deservedly behind you know We've been absolutely shocking in this game. Maybe it's this line of engagement that's the issue. Um, much higher. Play for set pieces. And we can't do another shout just now. Hutton and Jedinak. Hutton. Jedinak again. Aribo. Jedinak. Jack. Plays it forward. And near defence, controlling the situation once again. Ours is not. From these exact same type of situations. Calibre. Whipped in. Goldson away. We've got to have someone in that area. Over the top again, and again, nobody there. Again, McGregor saves. Where's our defensive line? Standard defensive line, wide. Try that. See if we can get Barisic out there. We're going to lose this game. Because we've basically messed it up. 
we have indeed, we've lost. I'm angry at this one because every single goal that they scored was so, so avoidable. We're going to go into the next game. We're out of the Europa League, unfortunately. So we're going to the next game against Hibs in the Betfred Cup. I'll see you pitch side in just a second. Here we are against Hibs, who have already beaten Celtic in the league this year. We've got Jordan Archer in goal, as we promised him Cup games. Of course, we've got Alan Hutton, Connor Golton, Nicola Katic in, because I really wasn't impressed with um, Hillander in the last game. We've got John Flanagan at left back. Jednak still in. McCrory picked up an injury, as we may mention that, before the last game which is why he didn't play. Who is their goalkeeper? I couldn't even tell you who their goalkeeper is, by the way. Len Kamara's in to give Ryan Jack a rest. He drops to the bench. Ojo, Davis, Barker and Morelos round off the team. Who <laughs> Their goalkeeper's just good luck reading that. <clears throat> you know, it works. White on white. Um, so we're at home. Let's give the fans a performance because the last game was shambolic. We've got a lot to come from yet and I completely believe what you've got it takes gets no response from anyone Jedinak is knackered but we've got no real other ball winning midfielders other than Jack unfortunately he might have to play that role a little bit more with the injury to McCrory in the coming weeks he's out for about four weeks from memory as Daryl Horgan gets a better uh, John Flanagan who cannot get back Archer stands up tall though and punches it away but again defenders sleeping in defence so what I'm wondering is, if it is this um, higher line of engagement that's the issue, and pressing her and saying maybe needs to come down, maybe counter pressing just doesn't work this year. Malin whips it in, Camberry wins, Archer saves. Not a good start from us again. Maybe the 4 2 3 1 isn't working as well as I thought, although again, Hibs haven't been Celtic this season. Already showed themselves as something to go with this year. Thrown in Whitaker playing on this side of the pitch. Jedinak loses out there. Not impressed. We're going to not confirm changes. What I wanted to do there was give a shout and say, get creative. See if we can get something inspired by the feedback. That is good. Good reaction there. Does anything come from it? Other than me getting a football. Uh, loading thing. Nope. Pisano to Malin. Pisano. Barker intercepts. Well done, son. He's got Morelos ahead of him. He's not gone for it. Eventually plays it across towards Ojo, but plays it straight to Stephen Whitaker instead. And now we are on. Defensive. Hutton steps in well, intercepts, well, nicks it off him. Hutton into Ojo, he's got Morelos in the middle. He's played it back to Hutton, who does go inside. Barker, we're ahead. We probably don't deserve to be, but we are ahead. And it is 1-0 to Rangers at Ibrox. Brandon Barker with the goal. I feel like Ojo should have put this in here, but instead he just sort of dallies it. Hutton's cross was good. Barker probably has no right to win that, but with the run and leap, gets in front of his man, heads home, and Brandon Barker's put us 1-0 ahead. Actually, we'll look at on paper with the stats after that. Maybe we are slightly the better team, but reality is I don't think we were. Barker plays it forward. Morelos isn't going to get there because other teams' defences are switched on. That's a good ball across for Ojo. He's got Morelos in the middle. Can he find him? He's gone alone, you selfish piece of so-and-so. He's got his man literally right in the middle there. I was going to give another shout, but the game got to half time before I could. Um, not happy. I want more. And this is the point where I need to start laying down a lot of them. Team cohesion's maybe a bit of an issue, which maybe could be part of the issue, but still would expect more from them. As Adam Jackson scores at the front post, a wide free kick again causing us problems. I readjusted that because I spotted it in a couple of games. But again, we've got a man unmarked at the front post. Previously, it was at the back post where you can see people there. Not impressed. Go if I show some passion because this is not good enough from us. I'm going to bring off Davis for a rebo. 
and Jedinak for Jack. Get some fresh legs into that midfield. Maybe inject something. Let's go with a get creative now. No, we can't. Yes, we can. Get creative. Where is it? There we are. Took me about 10 minutes of game time to do that. I've gotten inspired by the feedback, so hopefully that's enough. We'll bring Ojo off again for ranking this time. Come on. Go with a push forward, see if we can get something out of this. Late winner, maybe. Hutton is knackered, so if it goes to extra time, we should get an extra sub in this competition. Hutton clears it away. Barker first to respond. Aribo. Katic launches forward. He's found Morelos with a great ball. He's all on his own, though. But he does get it back, and Kamara just wide from the Finnish International. Ah. <sighs> Marciano, the goalkeeper for Hibs, who we couldn't tell you before because white on white, but he's launched it forward. Flanagan heads down for Barker, back to Flanagan. Launched all the way across for Ryan Kent. Can we find a late goal? And it goes, Barker, a rebound, it's off the post and we can't respond again. Ugh. Flanagan, Katic, Kamara, Jack, a rebound. It's going to be just a full-time highlight now. Although I did notice in the St Johnston game, we didn't get one of those. So maybe you need a chance for it to happen now. Maybe they've stopped that to stop the anticipation. Uh, dressing room. Again, an assertive. I am not happy. We need more. I want tactics, not analysts. And Tavernier coming on for Alan Hutton, who is completely done. He's ran his race. Start there for extra time with a goal kick. Morelos, Kamara, Jack, Aribo, Kent. Tavernier, back to Ryan Kent. Oh, he just needed a better first touch there. Aribo, that's wide of the post. Let's give a get creative. It's still going to work. It is inspired by the feedback. They've got a free kick deep in their own half. Marciano launches forward. Barisic and Katic, the only men there. But the header from such a good header. And Tavernier switches off and Scott Allen's in. And he's done him. Oof. Getting away with that. More poor defending from Tavernier. Katic out to John Flanagan. Going to play a crossfield ball. It's not going to get nowhere near Ryan Kent. But can he nick it? No, he can't. He's just walked past again. Too many people getting walked past here. Played across. And Barisic just switched off. Horgan. He's in. Not good enough. Is the matter of this episode right now. Yes. Because... It was a show some passion. I want to go very attacking now. Got no more subs left, of course. We've used all four that we have available to us. Got to do something here. Um, attacking. You attacking. Not really bread and butter here for a uh, Flanagan. There's not been a goal for 10 minutes. Can you please stop asking me that? Great, with the throw in. Again, no challenges. Kamara eventually does make the challenge. Aribo launches forward. Away from everybody though. Kent does get there. Brings it forward. Whips. Takes a shot instead of the cross there. Frustratingly. Why would you shoot from there? 
really, really not happy with this. We're out of two competitions in two games here. Not taking our chances, not defending well enough. You know, I need to work out what's going wrong with this team because there's something not right and I'm not happy with it. On that note, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. We will be back in a few games' time. We'll go for a four-game break. We'll come back for Celtic and Hibs again. I'll hopefully catch you all then. And I will hopefully catch you all next time.